Hello everyone, welcome to our weekly oracle reading. This week we're going to do it a little different where you see me actually shuffle, the cards jump, and then I prepare the table or prepare it for the reading. So let's get started. The first question I always ask each week is what are we facing? What are we confronting? What is coming up for us as a collective for those who are called to watch this video. Okay, so we have tree in the active um, position. And what tools will we have at our disposal or will we be using this week for the week of January 6th? What tools? Okay, two cards jumped. So we've got bat in the active and tower in the negative. So I'm going to move those like so. And then how does the week end? You know, what's the takeaways from this week? And we have whale in the positive. Okay. Put these to the side. What additional guidance, Spirit, do you have about what we are confronting or facing? We've got simplicity underneath the active tree. What about the tools? Is there additional insights and guidance? Okay, we've got water. This is going to be a big message this week. And creativity. Hopefully I can be able to squeeze it into the reading and then finally the takeaway how does the week end what are the takeaways for, for, from it for us and we thank you spirit for the loving guidance earth okay and then i just would like a bonus message that kind of ties up everything or gives us additional insight. It jumped all the way to the floor. Let's see what it is. From the mic to grab it. The obelisk. So we'll see what what comes of that. Okay, so this week is about replenishing our energy. Um, we actually have been in the last couple of weeks going full force, full throttle with the holidays, with the new year. And this coming week is a time of replenishing our energy and taking time um, to just get back down to earth so to speak and it's a time of peace and the simplicity card tells me that we are invited to take action but to go the path of least resistance and to ask where is the simpler what is the simpler thing to do where is the simpler path to go this is a yang week, meaning it's a time of taking action steps, but it's a time of taking action steps that, you know, don't require you going completely off path or taking more steps than you need to. It's about the simpler way of going. If you had a choice between one job or the other, which job allows you to have the simpler way of life so you can actually enjoy your days versus being stressed out? What is the simpler option? What is the simpler choice? And so this week you are going to be invited to do things, to choose things, to, to maybe even choose between one job or the other but, or a partner, you know, choosing a, one relationship over another. But at the end of the day, you're going to choose what is the path of least resistance. What is the simpler way to go? 
Then we move into the tools, the tools of the week. What tools will we have at our disposal? What tools will we be utilizing? So we have the bat in the active position. And this is about us sharing our unique perspectives and shining bright. Being a master of our emotions with this water card is also at hand. And what we have at our, at our, at, I can't speak, at our disposal. And we are, when confronted with certain people who may sometimes be a little overly emotional, we are the soothing water. We are the balanced approach to everything. So be like that. Be the person who takes the more balanced approach. But nevertheless, this week with the bat in the active position, it is about um putting you know putting your unique perspective out there sharing what you have to offer in terms of your ideas in terms of your thoughts on things on important matters it is important to share and to put it out there and continue to put it out there so people hear you people are thirsting for a, a unique voice and you have it and you know who, I mean, when I'm speaking to you, it's this message should be hitting home directly to whomever is needing to hear this reading. Then we have the tower over creativity as a tool. And so the tower in the negative position is telling me that it's time to express views, but do it tactfully. And... It is definitely a time to speak up, um, especially for causes that we believe in. It's imperative that we speak up, but that we find creative outlets and creative ways to deliver it. That's super important, the delivery. And we are going to be using creativity this week, both like literally where we're creating things. Maybe, you know, I get a sense of like... Um, using our hands, using crafts, literally being creative. Some of us are writing again, feeling inspired to write. Others are being creative in how we voice our opinions. Maybe we're resuming videos or vlogs again or blogs or or some other medium of being able to express what's going on in a creative way, but nevertheless getting the message out. That's what's at hand this week. And then finally, we have the outcome. How does the weekend? We have the well in the positive position over the earth card. And the well, I love this card. This week, it's about us connect, reconnecting with a member of a family or a tribe. <laughs> and this week someone that we lost contact with will reconnect with us and that's going to feel good we're going to come to a place where we are taking more of a down-to-earth approach and in how we are interacting with people and people are going to be responding really well to that this week at the end of the week and this card the earth card also represents us feeling more grounded and centered and connected with those of us around us and with the world at large. And we are finding balance and reconnection with ourself and with loved ones this week. That is the main thing that's happening is a sense of coming back home to ourselves and like long lost family members coming back home to us or long lost friends or long lost connections um, at the end of the week coming back or coming back to us. And we just really feel centered. So this is a good week in terms of really um, restoring our energy, feeling more positive about our life, feeling more connected to the people around us and feeling 
um, just centered and grounded. And so whatever you're doing, continue to do that. Continue to do more of it. If you've been, in, in, you know, trying uh, meditation, continue to do that. If you've been doing more walking or exercises or um, drinking more water or getting more sleep, whatever you're doing, do more of it and just don't overdo it, but do it enough where you're picking up on that uh, habit and it's a good habit. It's, it's helping you. It really is energetically speaking. It is helping. And then finally, the bonus message is the obelisk obelisk. This card is telling me that the yang energy can be positive or destructive. And so, you know, what I'm getting a sense of is that it's important to channel this yang energy for towards your highest good. How can you use your action steps? How can you use that yang energy that is driving us to move forward and to take action steps this week? Um, take a divinely guided risk or take a divinely guided step on, on a, you know, like take that opportunity to um, explore getting a new job or take that new opportunity to do a, a writing assignment, even if it's for free, you're not getting paid, but you know, really putting yourself out there, taking a risk. That's what I'm getting a sense of with this card. Move, take action and put energy into your goals in order to activate transformation in your life. So that is a lot going on this week in terms of us really feeling that new charge of the new year. We're really feeling that active yang energy inside of us. And as a result, we're moving forward. But also beautifully enough, we are connecting with friends and with loved ones. And it's really helping us to feel grounded in, you know, you can't underestimate the power of connection. Humans love connection. So it's beautiful to see that no matter how far away you and your friends may get away from each other, you know, you do that call and they hear it and they, and you all connect like you've just been with each other and haven't been apart. It's quite beautiful. All right, my dears, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed and abundant week. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.